Welcome to the Wheel of Sims, a brand new Let's Play where we let a series of mystery wheels determine the fate of our dear Sim. Now, this is gonna be a legacy challenge where we are literally going to build a dynasty that was constructed by fate itself. That's right, all of our major decisions are going to be made by a series of mystery wheels, and the first one being, who our sim is and, and what they even look like and what they're going to be, what their traits are, their aspirations. We are going to let these wheels control every aspect of our lives. And the first decision we really need to make here is how many rerolls of this dice are we going to get to determine our sim's overall appearance? And uh, we have this mystery wheel up here. It goes from one to six. Uh, I'm hoping for a pretty uh, generous high number here because uh, I, I want more than one reroll. No. Okay. Two. I will settle for two. I really hope we hit the genetic lottery here um, and really end up with a specimen to set our legacy right. <laughs> okay. So uh, if you guys like the idea of this series, make sure you show some support on that like button and let me know down below in the comments, what other mystery wheel should I add? We have a bunch of them and you're going to see a lot of them in this episode, but you know, get the wheels spinning down below, but we get two rerolls on this dice. So that's the first one. You know, we have to do two though. The wheel says two, so we will do two. Let's give a second one. Okay, so this is our sim. This is what they look like. Let's get rid of the wheel because we have some other decisions to be making. Uh, I think we're going to have to use the wheel of chance again to determine how many rerolls on the names we get. Now, we're just going to use whatever number we get here to determine the number we spin on each one. So we don't know what this guy's name is yet. He looks like a proper gentleman. I'm really excited. Uh, I, I almost feel like we need to go with the default clothing that this sim has from the random generation. Uh, okay, let's bring up the Wheel of Chance one more time and uh, give this another spin. Now, I, I mean, you know, I'm not going to be married to any name here. I'm okay if we only get one here. Okay, we'll take two again. Wow. Okay, so we're going to get two rolls on first name and last name each. So I guess let's get those rolls going. First one, okay, Juan, Asher. Okay, so Asher is this Sim's first name. Okay, now what will the legacy's surname be? It could have been Crockett, Asher Crockett, but nope, it's going to be Bruno. Hey, we don't talk about Bruno unless you're in this series because that's their last name. Asher Bruno, I like it. He does look like an Asher Bruno, so I feel like the wheel is being kind to us already, really setting the, a strong foundation for this story. But this next wheel uh, is going to be a lot more interesting. This is the, the wheel of traits. And I will let you guys know, this wheel is an abomination. This wheel has uh, so many things on it. Uh, we're going to do the aspiration last. We're going to do the traits first. So let's see what the first trait Asher Bruno is going to have. What's it going to be? Come on, no whammies. Cheerful. Okay. I will take cheerful. I was hoping for ambitious, but we will take cheerful. That is going to be Asher Bruno's first trait. And honestly, not a bad trait. It could have gone a million different ways and it could have been horrible. We could have got childish. We could have got erratic. It, you know, we need a strong foundation to start this legacy off strong. Okay. So let's go to the next trait. What is trait number two? We need something that's going to help us grind for some wealth. Okay. Come on grinding for wealth. Okay, love bug. I have to find where this one is. I don't even know where a love bug would be. Uh, this is going to be difficult for me because, like I've said, I mean, I own all the Sims packs, but I have not played the Sims in a little bit. So I would assume it's going to be here. I assume I'm going to have to go find out why love bug isn't here. I own everything. Is this like a secret? Oh, here it is. Love bug. I'm blind. So what is this trait? Sims with this trait are constantly swept up in the whirlwind of romance. They fall in love easily often, wearing their hearts on their sleeves. Okay, so he's a cheerful love bug. I mean, this seems, this is a lovable guy. I mean, I'm, I'm excited for Asher Bruno. Asher Bruno. Uh, let's see what his third trait is gonna be. Come on, no whammies. Ambitious, yes! I build all of my Sims with the ambitious trait. So to have this trait, off the gate right here with our first sim yeah. this yeah. this this the wheel of destiny here is like really performing for us okay so we have cheerful love bug and ambitious and i mean you need to be a little bit of a love bug if you're gonna start a legacy if you're gonna start a dynasty if you're gonna have a lot of kids so i mean i feel like this is a strong setup 
<sighs> but the one that really matters is going to be the Wheel of Ambition, and this one's going to determine what Asher Bruno's ambition is going to be, or aspiration, I should say. Uh, this is going to be important, because if his aspiration is to sit on his butt all day on the couch, this is going to be a tough legacy series. But, I mean, the Wheel of Gods have just been absolutely amazing to us so far. Come on. Super Parent? Okay, or successful lineage. I mean, either one of those would have been great. Okay, so super parent, super parent. That is definitely gonna be under family. Where is family? Oh my gosh, all of this, oh, there it is. Okay, so super parent. This Sim wants to be the best parent ever. That is, Asher Bruno is such a sweet guy. How can you not love Asher Bruno? Okay, so he wants to be a super parent. He is cheerful, he's a love bug, and he's ambitious. I mean, my goodness. The wheels have been good to us. Now, what is this? Okay, so this is their likes or dislikes. I'm not even gonna get into that. I'm gonna let Asher Bruno kind of determine their own likes and dislikes, but let's go see here. So Asher Bruno is a young adult, we'll leave that. This voice was randomly generated, so we'll leave it. I feel good about all of that. His outfits, oh boy, let's see. What did the random generation give to us? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, this is, this is, uh, this is interesting, you know, and I, I mean, this is what the wheel gave us. I feel like this is what we got to rock. I, I don't know. I'll let you guys decide if you can't stand looking at these outfits. Let me know, but I think we have to roll with these and we have to get ready to move into our first city. And of course, we're going to let a wheel determine which city we move into. So here he is, Asher Bruno. I'll upload this guy to the gallery if you guys want to cop Asher Bruno. I think my username is Aviator Networks or Aviator Games. One of the two. You'll find him. Uh, but let's load in and let's quickly get up the wheel of the uh, of destination. Or is it destiny? I, I got to go. Let me see. Wheel of destination, I believe. Yes. Wheel of destination. This is going to determine where we... We're going to just start in spring. Where we move into... Which is really going to determine our legacy overall. Why can't they play in spring? Okay, there we go. So we're going to go in spring. Now, there's a lot of options here because we own everything. I have them all on this wheel. Let's pop it up. This is the Wheel of Destination. This is not only going to be made or used for when we're moving places. It's going to be used for when we want to travel somewhere or go somewhere or hang out somewhere. But it's also really going to determine a lot of this Let's Play. If we get like, um, let me see. Well, if we get like Strangeville or whatever, that's gonna, that's not going to be great. And if we get like, is Baku an option here? Like all of that would not be great and I would be very sad. So I guess let's spin it and see where Asher Bruno is going to live. Now, please no whammies. You have been so good to us so far. No, no, that is the one I did not want. That is absolutely the worst way this could have gone. Strangerville. I have never lived in Strangerville in my life. I don't even know if it's like a legit option. Can I live in Strangerville or do I have to move there from my phone? Oh my gosh. Am I actually going to have to Google? Oh no, here it is. Oh God. I've, I've never played the Strangerville pack. I've never like done the Strangerville stuff. Well, no better time than this one to do so. So I guess we're going to move into Strangerville. And where do we want to live? There's a couple empty plots. Uh, there's also this uh, smaller house and then this really small house that has like a fence around it. I mean, Asher Bruno is going to want to have kids and none of these lots seem massive. Uh, let's move into the smallest one for now so we can save our money and kind of build our legacy this seems like kind of a fun lot. And you know what? The wheel might be doing me a service. I'm experiencing a new pack that I've never experienced before. So, you know, it's, this is all new to me. And that's, I think, the fun thing. The Sims 4 has been out for 10 years. The fun thing about this series is I'm not in control. I'm not behind the wheel. I kind of am, but not completely. Oh, man. There's a story here. I don't even want to do it. And, I mean, it's not going to be our ultimate goal. So, I don't care... I'm sure things are going to happen. I hope we can move out eventually. We'll have to determine if we can move out. But let's just kind of get our life set up to kind of, uh, I guess, get our day started. Ugh. Okay, the first thing we need to do is determine what is Asher Bruno's career. And of course, 
we have a wheel for determining what Asher Bruno is going to be doing for a living. So let's bring it up because, you know, we're living in this quaint little house in Strangerville. What is our career, Asher? How are you going to build our legacy? That's what we need to find out. Oh, gosh. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, culinary, we're an entertainer. Okay, we're, we're kooky. We're fun. You know, we're living in Strangerville. We... I don't know what entertainment career we're really in living in Strangerville, but we have a laptop, which is great. So let's go to careers and find a job on our little laptop. Let's explore this lot. So we have a nice little front yard space that has what looks like artificial grass. Oh, Reaper rewards. I forgot that that's a thing and I could do this and, and get free stuff, but that's not the purpose of this series. So we're going to focus on getting him a job in entertainment. I don't know what career we're going to, or career path we're going to follow, I'll have to make a wheel for that. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Uh, entertainment, entertainment, entertainment. Here it is, entertainer. Okay, so he's going to be an amateur entertainer. I mean, isn't he so wholesome, guys? Asher Bruno. He is cheerful. He's a love bug. He is a super parent. He's ambitious. He wants to be an entertainer. He's living in Strangerville. I like to think that Asher Bruno is, you know, why do we have two computers? What is, what is, purchase bugs? Okay, I'm not even going to dive into the, the Strangerville gameplay too much, but we're going to have to dive in a little throughout this series, as long as Asher Bruno's still living here. But I, I'm i excited for Asher Bruno. I really think that this is the best start we could have asked to to a legacy challenge the series where we're going to build this lineage of successful people. We have an ambitious guy that wants to be an entertainer. Right now he wants to write jokes or practice music. So let's have him go to write and, or wait, is it in jokes? Oh my goodness. I am as rusty as could be. Write jokes, here we go. So we're just gonna write some jokes. We're gonna let him kind of, uh, let his first neighborhood visit come by because we have a wheel for this. We have wheels for relationships and determining if someone's gonna be a friend or foe. And then when he starts to build a romantic interest with Sims, which it seems like he's gonna do a lot based off his overall traits, then we have a wheel for that. Will they be a one night stand? Will they be a girlfriend? Will they be a short term relationship? Will they be a, a you know, ghost situation? Will they be marriage material? We, there's a wheel for everything, guys. We, right now, let me count how many wheels we have. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine wheels. Okay, there's a lot more wheels to be had. There's a wheel of destiny, which is just a yes or no. We'll probably be using that every once in a while to determine it, what we do in specific interactions or engagements but let's set this in two times speed kind of just prep our career stuff for the day we don't have work until tomorrow i like i said i've never lived in strangerville i've never been to strangerville really so maybe we'll actually go bumping around strangerville and get our first few sim interactions in hopefully the neighborhood welcome wagon comes soon and we can have our first few interactions based on the wheels choice will they be friend will they be foe i mean i feel like asher has the type of personality where he'd want to be friends with most people. So let's hope that he doesn't get too many faux opportunities. Um, okay, so let's see. Right jokes, 75% done. Here's the welcome wagon just as we complete. This girl is acting very strange. Okay, <laughs> that's that's something. Let's go try to talk to Joy and try to talk to Leslie. And we're going to determine if Joy and Le What is going on? Are these people zombies? Is that what this is? Okay. Or they're all, like, mind-controlled? Let's try to talk to Ted. I am very confused. I mean, we have the neighborhood welcome wagon here. What the heck is going on here? What is that? Why? This is, um, a great place to live. This is a great place to raise a family. I can tell. I have a daughter now. You know, spoiler alert. Um, so I, this is definitely a place where I'd want to raise a family. Uh, can we talk to any of these people or are they all like literally zombies? Cause this is going to make socializing very difficult. Okay. Except her it's and all will be okay. Great. These people are basically mind controlled zombies. She's picturing wires coming out of a person's head. Uh, the mother knows all do not resist her. Awesome. <laughs> I do not want to live here, Asher. Why did the wheel do us this way? Okay, accept her and it's all it all will be well. Okay, so you know 
let's see. Okay, I think I want to build a relationship, whether it's a friendship or something deeper with Leslie. But that means we got to pull up the wheel of a friend or foe here. So let's pull this wheel up and see if Asher needs to be a friend or an enemy to Leslie. Okay, come on, friend. Let's start off strong. Okay, hey, there we go. We'll take it. And yes, this wheel's weighted 70% to friend, 30% to foe, because we're not crazy. We're not trying to have 50% of our relationships be negative ones. Okay, there we go. Unless unless we want that, let me know. <laughs> Snap out of it, okay? So we are going to be Leslie's friend here. And that means we got to save her, because clearly the mother or whatever is going on here is not to her benefit. We're going to snap her out of it, okay? Because she could be future Mrs. Bruno, for all we know. We don't know anything yet. The wheel hasn't decided. But we are going to get Bruno over here. I need to get a screenshot of this because I am, like, losing it to, like, how crazy this is. I don't even remember how to take a screenshot. Is it, like, C? Did that do it? Ah, it did. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, I remember. Okay, so, uh, snap out of it, Leslie. It's me. Oh, there we go. We're going to slap her around a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Did she snap out of it? Uh, uh she, she doesn't, she doesn't look like she snapped out of it, so. Um, I guess we'll try to talk to her more, and she's just gonna say more things about mother. I mean, we'll, ah, God, that scared me. Okay, I mean, we're building a relationship. Open your eyes to the beauty of her blossoms. I don't want to live here with you people. You should stay in Strangerville. Bruno is not made for Strangerville. This is the one place when I was making that wheel, I was like, oh, I just want to weigh this to one percent. But we're here, and I mean, see, Zach would not have made this decision, and that's the fun of the series. This is not a decision I would have made, and I hate it. But Bruno's going to keep talking to this mindless zombie of a woman named Leslie. We don't know anything about her. And all we can do is slap her around a little bit, and she'll tell us to join join us, consume the fruit of the mother. Oh, gosh. Okay, stay away from the local vegetation, people. It is dangerous. Leslie, you're boring me, and I'm going to have to hit the Wheel of Destination to travel out of here and go somewhere else where there's not just mindless zombie people running around. Unless I can get you to snap out of it. Wake up, Leslie. Wake up. I'm going to talk to you a couple times and hope we build a friendship. And that's how I get you to snap out of this zombie-like state where all you can do is talk about mother. Okay. it's Nothing's working. These people these people just have nothing going on in their heads. There, there's some clear, clearly some big mystery to figure out. You know what? I am just going to serve lunch for my guests. That's what a good host would do. We're going to make a nice garden salad. We're going to live healthy today and, 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 I don't know, socialize with the zombies. I need to figure out a way to get Bruno out of here. I don't know what the challenge should be to be able to move locations because the wheel did decide that I have to live in Strangerville, at least with Bruno for now. So I'll leave you guys to weigh in on that in the comments, but we got to get out of Strangerville. This this place is literally going to be our demise. I'm, I'm going to try not to consume fruit. Obviously, I'm not going to consume this fruit cake, which clearly is probably poisoned with whatever mother wants me to have. So boom, going right in the sink, right in the garbage. We acquired cooking skill. Great. I thought I just heard a car horn. Is someone out here? Is mother here to come get me? Oh my gosh, Ted? No, Ted, I need to lock my door. Oh, is he good? Did he snap out of it? Ted! No, he didn't. He is still... He is still some type of zombie being. That's great. Keep doing you, Ted. Don't let anyone make you change. We're going to grab a serving of salad, though. And I think I'm going to also toss this in the fridge. I don't want any of my weird new zombie friends to have my salad. I've decided against it. I am not feeling as social as I was. When they arrived, I would like them to go away for a while. But let's pull up our needs. What else do we want to do? We've established where we live. We have a job. We have our traits and aspirations laid out. We have Asher Bruno here. We know our first friend is going to be Leslie. Okay, that's one person we're at least interested in pursuing a friendship with. I hope to God it never has to be a relationship because she seems pretty low depth overall. All she can do is talk about mother. And I just want to preview you guys the wheel of relationships. So if it gets to this point where we feel like we need to make a decision on a romantic relationship, here's what the wheel has to offer. You have the friend zone, ghosted, girlfriend, a hookup, a seasonal fling. So that means for the entirety of a season. 
One Night Stand, and Friends with Benefits. So Leslie right now is at least a friend. We don't know if we want to go to this wheel with her just yet, but if we do, those are the options. Okay, so I guess we're going to just spend time on the computer. There is nothing to do in this city. Like, let's actually go view this city's map and kind of see... Oh, how do I travel? <laughs> I am, like, so out of this. Okay, here we go. We are going to travel. We... Okay. Wheel of D Destiny. Um, I need you to tell me, should we take Leslie with us uh, on our travels? Yes or no? I need a simple answer. Should Leslie come with us? She is our wannabe friend. Oh, thank God. Okay, so Leslie is not coming with us. We are a rocking solo. Thank you. Now, the Wheel of Destiny has spoken, but the Wheel of Destination has yet to speak. Where are we going to travel to on this fine day? Let's find out. Anywhere but Strangerville, obviously. <laughs> we would love to go anywhere to meet any normal... People, Glimmerbrook, okay, not quite normal, but we'll go. We will go to Glimmerbrook, and we will go fraternize with the witches and the warlocks. Uh, okay, Glimmerbrook, Glimmerbrook, here it is. I mean, I'm looking forward to meeting people. We're going to go to this Elixirs and Brew bar, and we're going to hang out and socialize because we want to be an entertainer. So we got to practice our comedy on somebody. I don't know if we're going to go down the comedy route, but we could. So I want to be prepared for that. Okay, so Ted! No! How did you get here, Ted? Oh my goodness. Okay, we need a we need the wheel to decide if Ted's our enemy or friend. Because I need to know. And honestly, I'm leaning enemy. I would hope that we get enemy here. Ted, it's nothing against you. It's just I can't be friends with everyone from Strangerville. What are they gonna think about Bruno? Oh, Ted. Darn it, Ted. Okay, Ted's a friend. He's lovable, I guess. So, okay, Ted. That's great. We're rolling deep with Ted. I'm not going to talk to you right now. Let's see who's here. Okay, so we have Meredith Roswell here. We have Miner Minerva Charm. Who's this? We have Adana Wilkes, who has a scorn on her face. And then we have El Faba, who's thinking about peeing her pants. You know what? Let's go. I can't join her game. I don't have permission to use that object. That's fine. You know what? We're going to go talk to... Uh, let's just go talk to her because then maybe we can get permission. I'm going to do a friendly introduction. She's embarrassed. So she did just, in fact, pee her pants, which is great because Bruno is wearing this outfit, which I think is equally embarrassing. Uh, so I think this sets the playing field pretty level and I will accept it and I'm happy with it overall. So again, we need to decide. This is going to be a very overused wheel this episode as we meet people. But our, since we have interest in talking to her, is she a friend or foe? Friend, heck yeah. We need more friends in Bruno's lives. We're going to get to foes, guys. But right now, Bruno, you know, he's a good guy. He just needs some friends. So we're going to lean into the friend route. Okay, we're going to tell her a funny story. It's going to help our comedy overall. Maybe we'll joke about politicians. There's an election in the U.S. That's topical. Um, and then I can order her to clean. That seems not very friendly. Let's discuss her interests, try to figure out a little bit about her. And, hmm, I mean, we could practice our impersonations of celebrities. You know, get that entertainer muscle exercised. Bro, I do not want any of these Grim Quests right now. I am literally trying to let a wheel control my fate. Then let's maybe um, joke about body hair. Ask if she's a mermaid. No, let's, just, let's just ask about her day. Okay, so we're going to try to get to know her. Well, I'm going to keep it to one sim per outing. If they're friend or foe, we'll lean into it. But we don't want to, like, fraternize with every single buddy and spin this wheel a hundred times on the friend or foe wheel. So let's just... We decided that Faba, Faba is a friend. Okay, we've learned she's mean, which isn't great. Let's ask her about Ambrosia. We're going to satisfy Grim here and, and do that quest. Let's go to stories and tell her an outrageous story. And I do want to get to know her a little bit more. So let's let's just let's uh, let's let's go to interests. Let's try to get to know her. Let's keep discussing her interests. Um, I don't know where is to get to know. Is it in deep thoughts? I guess I could ask her to cloud gaze. It seems like a really nice place to cloud gaze. 
We have all of this nice scenery. This is a great city. Let's get outside in Cloudgate. That'll build our friendship fast, too. And honestly, Bruno just needs someone to consider him a friend right now. So, Bruno and L Is her first name literally just L? It is. Okay. El Faba. El Faba. That's definitely probably a reference to something. And we just completed a Grim Quest, or at least progressed the Grim Quest here. Okay, so she wanted to cloud gaze for 2.5 seconds. Can she not be in the sun? Is Her eyes are like purple. Oh, gosh. Okay, uh, 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 let's go to... I, I really... Is it small talk? I really need... Oh, there it is. Small talk. I want to get to know her. I want to know the rest of her traits. I mean, if she's going to be one of our friends here, I think that's important. So uh, let's just get to know her a few times until... We can determine what all of her traits are and to see if we would even be interested in her being a romantic relationship. Obviously, we're going to let a wheel determine that, but I want to see if we should pursue her. So she's a mean foodie. Um, okay. Is is there anything else? Is there any more depth to El, El Faba? <laughs> okay, she's being kind of mean. Bruno doesn't like her attitude. He doesn't like her tone. Uh-oh. This is not going the route of friend, Bruno. She is supposed to be your friend. Oh, she's tense. Let's get out of here. Oh, let's apologize. Maybe we did something wrong. I'm not sure. I am not sure if we're the one at fault here for uh, making Al Alba El El Faba <laughs> El Faba angry. So she she likes comedy. Yay! Okay. Hey, well we're an entertainer. Okay. This 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 is just this is just making us angry. We're having an aggravating conversation. I'm going to remove myself, uh, or I should say I'm going to remove Asher Bruno from this. <gasps> Bella Goth is here. I said we were only going to spin the wheel once, but when you see Bella Goth as a young adult here in, in Babelbrook or wherever we are, you got to talk to her. Am I right? Well, okay, fine. I Since I said we're only going to do one, I would let the Wheel of Destiny decide if we talk to Bella Goth. Yes or no? Yes means yes. No means no. Let me know. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, we're going to talk to Bella Goth because I want to. And I think that her and Bruno could be great together. But as you can see, here's the list of our wheels. We are also going to pull up the wheel of friend or foe and quickly determine. Please, no foe, because I love Bella Goth. Hey, okay, she, Bella Goth is going to be a friend. We are going to go do a friendly introduction to Bella Goth. I will take it. Okay, because this El Faba girl, she is being mean. She is a friend of ours, but not our bestest of friends. Okay, so Asher, where are you? Oh, you're oh, you're on the other side of the bar. Okay, it seems like he's mad and aggressive. I hope he's not going to take that aggression out on Bella, but let's ask about her career. Let's also ask her about Ambrosio. Might as well knock these quests out. He could really use a foe right now, it seems like. He could really use a foe. Let's go to jokes, though. Joke about body hair. We got to calm Asher Bruno down because he is just not being himself right now. He is being way too angry. Don't shove Bella Goth. Oh, my goodness. Uh, let's ask about her date. We're, we're just... This is episode one. We need to set this foundation. The wheel's been kind to us, except putting us in Strangerville, which I'm not happy about, and I will continue not to be happy about. But it has been good to us about who we get to be friends with, and... I think our job's pretty good. I'm happy with that overall. Let's go to small talk. Let's get to know her a little bit. Let's also, can we share interests maybe? Let's get into some deep thoughts and maybe cloud gaze. Let's build this relationship. Let's get out of this angry funk because, okay, so she's family orientated, which is perfect because he wants to be like a super parent. I, I know she's married to Mortimer Goth, guys, but that's why the wheel will decide. I can have my own interests. Am I right? Okay, we're going to let them cloud gaze. We're going to let them cloud gaze here, build their friendship. It is getting late. It's almost 8 p.m. We definitely have to head home soon because we have our first day of work tomorrow. And we got to be ready for that. Uh, but I'm loving how this is going so far. I, I feel like we're really set up. Oh, yeah. It's it, it's guys night. Heck, yeah. Well, we're not going. We, we are going to be going home after we build this relationship with Bella. Okay. I feel like it's built enough. We will head home. See you later, Bella. It was nice seeing you today. But now we are going to head home and probably get some sleep, get ready for work, and uh, I guess continue to unravel the mysteries of where we live and where we're going to potentially raise our children. Oh boy, I do not want to live here. 
<laughs> this is the absolute worst. And this house is not great. We have $5,000. I feel like if we're going to invest anything right now, it should be in a new bed. Because this bed is not going to get us a good night's sleep. But you know what? We're not going to worry about it. We're going to... Let's get a little bit of R&R &R time. Um, maybe let's play some games. Let's play some Sims Forever. Let's get really metaverse with this. And there we go. Get our fun up before the end of the day. We're going to wind down. Nothing crazy. It says a lot of things have happened here on on uh, in our day, so we might as well post about it. So let's post about our travel and, and give a happy narrative. I think it was happy overall. Um, and then friends. Let's add to contact list. This will help us keep track of our friends, honestly. So Bella's a friend. Uh, Leslie's a friend. Faba's a friend. And Ted is a friend. So these are our friends, and we're building relationships with them, and they can see our posts, okay? And you know what? We're going to be that guy, and we're going to like our own posts because we're just so happy-go-lucky. There we go. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't give us uh, any bad karma or bad points. Okay, finish up this game, and then we're going to go to bed. We're going to hit the hay early. It's been a busy day living in Strangerville. I feel like I should lock my door at night. I don't know. I don't know what be happening in Strangerville at night. But I don't like it. I really don't. But I do like this house. I don't know. It's kind of giving me cozy vibes. It's fall right now. I'm, I'm living for it. Okay. So once we wake up tomorrow, obviously, we got to go to work. It starts at 9 a.m. So rise and shine, early ups. We're going to get to work. And then we need to uh, probably start determining what we do next. Because obviously, this is a legacy. We want to build ourselves up. Now, the college campus mascot hasn't come by yet and offered us the opportunity to go to college. That is something we could still consider with the Wheel of Destiny. Um, also, <sighs> we need to decide if we want to get into a relationship early or late. I feel like there's a lot of decisions that need to be made. And you know what? As we get into our second day, I actually feel like this is a great place to end this episode. I'm going to set up Asher for his next day. But if you guys enjoyed this episode, hit the like button. I'm going to upload this series like three to four times a week. They're going to be longer videos. If you can think of new wheels we should add, add it to the comments. If I should weight wheels differently, let me know. If you want that faux bar to be just as big as the friend bar, you know, I'm down for it. Um, if you want there to be a an activity wheel, I'm thinking of already adding that. Like, do we go to the gym in our free time? Do we go to the library, the bar? It'll really like shake up our nights overall. So uh, I'm really excited, though, about this series, and I hope you guys are as well. But until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.